In the months following Hurricane Harvey, uh, y'all still kept sending me shit to the post office box. Like, even though, even though some of you probably thought the post office box was, like, just blown down and there was, like, not even a post office anymore, uh, y'all just still kept sending me shit. So, I've got, I've got a few things. So, um, what I'm gonna have Reflex do is he's gonna hand, he's gonna pick something that looks good, he's gonna hand it to me, we're gonna show it off, and we're gonna be surprised. Um, so okay, Reflex, hit me with the first one. Let's let's, let's get at it. I think I'm, when I picked up the box, it made sound. So I'm gonna, I think it came. <laughs> I think it came from this bag. Yeah. I want this one first. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> Let me put this up to the mic. Yeah, it makes noise. So this one, uh, I don't know who it's from. The return address is a uh, UPS store. So, I, again, there's no name, there's no information, I, I don't know, uh, I don't know where it came from, but whoever packed, like, the, the person who packed this put this in a bubble mailer, like, it's in a, it, this is fucking making, this, that's the, that's the point, they put some shit in here that makes noise, so that as I handle it, and I'm showing this shit off, it keeps making noise, but they put it in a bubble mailer so it wouldn't get broken, <laughs> but they, they turned it on when they sent it. So when they, when they sent it, as this was in transit, while this was in transit, bro, thank you for the bits. While this was on its way, this is what it was doing the entire fucking time. It's just this. And I shit you not, when I showed up to, to collect this from the post office, uh, they handed me this, and they were like, so this is your package. And like, they... It was, when they handed it to me, it started fucking making noise. And I just started laughing because, like, I told him I had no idea what it was. <laughs> and I apologized for it. I was like, I gave him the, I gave him the fucking cliff notes, right? I was like, look, I, I have a show on YouTube and Twitch and people send me shit to fuck with me. Uh, I use nicer language than that. Uh, but the, the lady seemed amused, but also kind of irritated, because I guess, like, every time they would put somebody else's package on the shelf, like, there, there you fucking go, it would make noise. <laughs> Anytime I get a package that I don't know where it's from, even if it's making noise or if it's not making noise, like, it doesn't matter, I check just real quick to make sure it's not, like, some gross shit. So, uh, inside this package is, uh, I really don't know what I was ex I really don't know what I was expecting. Considering it was making so much goddamn noise, I was expecting like like a truck or something from all the sounds, but it it's a fucking it's a werewolf, and he makes a shit ton of sound, but he's he's also a Stretch Armstrong, and I I don't <laughs> taboo. Thank you for thank you for finally deciding to follow once I bring out the fucking furry shit. I appreciate that. I yeah, he's gonna keep making noise. It's it's a fucking werewolf, okay? And it's a Stretch Armstrong werewolf, and I'm like, wh where did this shit come from? And I'm looking on the back, and it's like the year of manufacture. Where, where was it? <laughs> it's, God damn it. It's from, like, last year. And I have no idea what the hell this is. I know the face is, like, really weird, and that the head, this is, like, this is, this is... This is solid ass plastic. This is not stretchy at all, but like the whole body is, and it feels, it feels gross, and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know where it came from. I don't know what it's called. I've, I've typed in like Stretch Armstrong Werewolf, and it just it brings up like hits and shit from the 80s. So like not even Google knows <laughs> what the hell this thing is. It's it's some shit that some person either had or they found at like a Goodwill. And they were like, oh, I'll send that to Gatorbox. That's a, uh, you know, that makes a lot of noise. But, <laughs> but there you go. And it's just, it's so nasty, man. <laughs> it's, and like, because like I started looking at it because I'm trying to, like when I was looking for the year of manufacturing shit. And like, it's really weird because like the bottoms of the feet are like really... They're molded to look like feet, so they're not just flat, and it's like, it's just, I know it's not a fetish thing, but like, someone, someone's into this shit, like, it, yeah, there, there you go, bro, it's a stretchy werewolf noisy boy. <laughs> but,
but uh, if if the person who sent this to me, I, I'm not sure if you're watching like live right now, if you're catching this on YouTube or whatever. Um, the return address, like I said, is, was a UPS store. So if like if like you're worried about your address being shown, like don't worry about it. Like I I block it out. You know stuff like I don't I won't I won't show your personal information. Period. So you don't need to worry about that. Um, or if you used a UPS store because you didn't want me to know who was sending me a fucking noisy ass werewolf, you know that works too. So now everyone else knows how to anonymously send me shit. This one. Okay. So here here's one. Uh, this one, this is a flat one. It's a little mailer. And, uh, again, uh, I, I checked it. Because this one is from a drop shipper. It, like, someone ordered this and put in my address as the, as the place to deliver it. So, um, so I, I checked it. Like, I peeked inside real quick to make sure it's not a bumper sticker that says, like, if this truck isn't dragging a black dude behind it, you're not in Texas or some, or some fucking shit, like some out, some, like a rebel flag next to it and be like, Alabama forever, and Alabama's not even spelled right. Or It's it's two stickers. I feel like this is the reason why it was sent to me. Uh, welcome welcome to Gainesville, and it's like a, it's like a, it's a, it's a quite buff alligator man, and he's showing off the goods, if you know, know what I mean. I'm showing them off. And uh, it's got like a M and G. There's like a logo on it. I don't know what this is, but <laughs> there, there's two stickers on the reel. And I feel like I I can see why this was in the PO box, right? Somebody saw this and was like, "Oh, dude, oh, dude, Draco, Draco would fucking love that. It's a it's a gator, and it's uh, uh you know, he's muscular or something." The second sticker, I feel like I feel like the second sticker came with this one, and they were like, "Ah, oh, fuck it," because it's it says don't. Fuck the toucan. When I first, when I read this, I thought it said "Don't fuck with the toucan," and because this is Zazu from the from the Lion King. Have you seen that movie? Mm -hmm. Okay, because yeah. I remember earlier you were like, "I haven't seen Aladdin." I'm like, "Bro, you've been to Disneyland, you ain't never seen Aladdin." And that's the whole thing. <laughs> I don't think I've seen it all the way through. <laughs> but at least you recognize yes. him, and you know that he was kind of a stuck-up prick in the movie. Yes. So, okay. So I saw this and I thought it was like "Don't fuck with the toucan," and it was like one of those weird ass like stick like stickers about kids stuff but for grown-ups that is, is kind of popular and stuff clearly not licensed because he's not the right color and i don't think disney would put their name on something no. that says fuck so that but then i realized it, there's no whip in the sentence it just says don't fuck the toucan again i don't know where this one came from because the the address on the front is is a drop shipper so uh, much like the donald trump knife that arrived it this came somebody ordered this or whatever put in my address and the return address is the company so uh i don't, I don't know who this came from but uh <laughs> thank you for the stickers um i'll probably put the toucan one on the on the back of my laptop at some point so so we'll, it'll be a joke but or i'll scan it and make it an emote on discord or something i, I, I don't know yeah. watching the chat it looks like they figured out where the werewolf is from oh shit you guys know where the werewolf is from what? they saw it's they it's... said ralph from rampage oh my god is it is he the somebody sent a link bro sent a link oh no <laughs> for real yeah he's uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, because the movie was out last year, or it came out beginning of this year, and they were putting toys out. I, I don't know, but, yeah, because I've seen the, like, the Rampage toys that I've seen, it's like, it's like, it's like a big gorilla action figure and, like, a, a thing of The Rock. I I haven't seen those. What, yeah, <laughs> what's <the hell laughs> <is> this? <laughs> yeah, Taboo says it looks unlicensed, I'm like, yeah, it looks unlicensed, but it's like, it's a little too high quality to be unlicensed, so... Has a link in... Yep, there oh, it is. yeah, there it is. It's a... Holy shit, this thing was $18? I mean, that's the Amazon price. eighteen it's seventeen fifty in free shipping. Uh, well, only, well, free shipping on orders over $25. But unless you got that Prime, you get it in two days, and gum, come on, put that Prime sub on Gatorbox on Twitch, folks. Amazon money. Uh, yeah, that's, um, that's what that is. It's a stretchy Ralph... Yeah. And it's he, yeah. And it says, oh, it says exclusively at Walmart on the thing up there. So, oh well, yeah, that's where they got it. <laughs> so this came from. So either somebody bought this at a Walmart, took it out of the package, because, okay, so now there's a story. Somebody could have bought this at Walmart. I God, I hope they didn't spend eighteen dollars on this fucking thing, man. I hope not. Uh, <laughs> that's a lot of money for a joke. 
so somebody either bought this and like it wouldn't fit in the envelope they had so they took it out of the package and stuck it in there but then like they fucking pulled out the tab on the back so it would start making noise <laughs> ha ha memes uh so yeah maybe that's what maybe that is what happened that's yeah that, or or again they could have found it at a goodwill and <laughs> ten dollars at walmart ten dollars okay ten dollars is still is still a little bit excessive yeah. for a fucking joke in the mail but if if you've got i mean if you've got that kind of money i welcome weird annoying shit like this because this this blew my mind when it showed up and uh, i'm pretty sure it made the post office hate me so thank you very much i appreciate that got a box okay so we got here's another box uh, this is another one. I did open this one beforehand because the return address is uh, it's a it's a drop ship thing, but I found out later that this one this one came from Fandramon, so I guess I didn't really need to prime it ahead of time because I just, I like flipped it open, make sure it's not like a fucking trial size you know double headed rabbit vibrator or something from like Adam and Eve. <laughs> it's like, because the, well, I mean, like, the address is BB Novelties LLC, and, like, when you're selling, like, dildos and shit, and you, <laughs> off, and you offer, like, discreet packaging, you, it's, you name your company Novelties. So I saw Novelties, that was a red flag. Let's take a look at what's inside the Fandramon box. And, first of all, there's a, a advertisement. I see some cool stuff in here, but on top is a, here, okay. If you guys go to bbtoystore.com, 10% off all orders, cash. I got the strangest feeling this is not a coupon code that is unique to this order. I I, I don't know why I've, I, I kind of get that vibe off this, but I don't know. <laughs> if you guys want to do this after the stream, just there you go. Free 10% off right there. I, don't say I never do nothing for you. Uh, up first is uh, so soft, softly, soft, so softy, not softly. Softy Soakers Exp expands in a splash. A, a real, a real 3D animal in just 40 seconds. It's all it takes. <laughs> okay, so it's a, it's a dolphin. I like the dolphin. What 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 do you? Okay, take your new sea life animals for a splash and watch their amazing transformation in water. It's you know, real 3D animal transformation. I don't know what kind of Toy Stories you go to, Fandramon, but, you know, whatever. Soak, soak, grow, towel, rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, and you're ready for fun. What about my ready for fun, huh? You see, so if they're sticking with, like, 2D, 3D, they should have been like this. It should have been, like, a real 3D animal ready in just 4D seconds. Because, oh, because then you got, the, you, you got the water splashing around <laughs> and, and stuff like that, so it should but have been 4D. I feel, like that, I feel like that is a little bit too <laughs> on the nose because this is, I mean, this the same per Oh, shit. Oh, the camera froze. The same person who, des who, who designed this packaging also spelled you're wrong on the back. So it's oh. like, you gotta, I mean... <laughs> I'll open... Oh, there's another one in here, too, it looks like. It's also blue, and it's a little alligator. Uh, he's, he's cute. I'll put one of those. Uh, let me... i tell you what. Yeah, same thing on the back. Um, I don't have, like, a bucket of water ready, so maybe that'll be, like, a future a future thing, or I'll, I'll do, like, a little extra and put it on the YouTube channel. But I'll open this... This is... This is package already... Is it already open, or...? <laughs> okay, just come off. We'll take it. We'll take a look at, at the little alligator, and uh, he's like he's like stuck to the. Is, it, is that glue? Like, okay, so well, he is flat. I mean, he is. How do they? It literally feels like there is nothing inside of him. If he, yeah, what's the magic? I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel anything. Uh-uh. How long does this say? It takes 40 seconds. Okay, hang 40 on. Seconds. Hang on. Get up. <laughs> I'm going to see how this shit works. Okay, so we got a bowl. We got a bowl of water. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Fandramon's like water plus electronics. Uh, Okay, so what's the instructions? It's I know it's just put it in. There's a little thing in... Okay. Instructions to put it in the water. <laughs> I just want to make sure I'm not like... <laughs> Soak. Fill a large bowl with water. Tap or natural water only. Okay, well, we got that. Uh, grow. Plunge your toy into the bowl for 40 seconds, <laughs> massaging it quickly for 
speedy water absorption. I didn't make any of those words up. Towel. Towels. Is, oh, fuck. I don't know towels. Uh, <laughs> we got some good cautions here. <laughs> For ages three and up. You know, or, or as Ashens would say, not the three sad onions. Uh, if the toy is damaged or punctured, discard immediately. So, you better check that. <laughs> he's got a... <laughs> He's like some toxic. Oh, there's something in his in his butt. Yeah. There's like a thing. There's like a little pellet or something up his ass. So that'll uh, maybe okay. Uh, <laughs> material is non toxic, but not recommended for eating. Okay, that no, that's a real. That's also that's also a thing. Uh, do not bleach. Do not microwave. <laughs> <laughs> Keep away from fire. Do not put in contact with chemicals. Like you know, it's all the usual stuff you get with your toys. Like don't light it on fire. Don't microwave it. So yeah, we're just gonna undo this. <laughs> we got the little alligator, and we're gonna we're gonna do some science. I everything I know about taking care of like stuffed animals is telling me just do not dunk it in the water. But uh, oh, here goes nothing. Okay, and plunge I'm, it and massage it. I'm trying to massage my gator. Okay, this. Is... <laughs> you should put a timer. on. I should have put a timer on. Damn Shit, it. I should. Someone get live split. It's got to turn on my speed run timer. I'm massaging him. He's not like. He's still like really not. <laughs> I'm just making a mess. <laughs> um, okay. He's starting. I guess he's starting to puff up a little bit. Yes, it looks like his head is a little bit bigger. Yeah, his head is his head is spilling out a little. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, that's definitely. He's becoming a. All right, that's forty. That's actually more that's... than forty, honestly. <laughs> I don't think he's quite ready yet. <laughs> he's still <laughs> droopy. <laughs> God damn it. So I have a wet alligator now is really kind of what we're it's kind of uh, and like if I it feels like I, when I try to squeeze it to get the excess out it feels like it's going to like pop. It, he feels like it it feels like there's a water balloon inside of it. Like it's it's weird. Um But he has, he has dried up suspiciously fast. Like, feel him. It's not really wet. Oh. <laughs> it's. Whoa, that's weird. Yeah, it's, uh, and he is continuing to swell up. So that's, uh, so does he, does he deflate? Does, yeah, I was gonna doesn't, be like, what is, what happens if you just, like, leave him in this little tray? Like, will he just, like. Okay, 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 let's, okay. That's, we, we checked the back. Bro, thank you for the bits. <laughs> New world record. I'll submit this to speedrun.com. You can control your toy's softness by how much water is absorbed. <laughs> I think Bad Dragon has a, has a similar uh, disclaimer or instruction on their things. Uh, do not soak too long or water may leak from toy. Oh, okay. That's... The toy shrinks over time. Soak it again to repeat the growing process. <laughs> water absorption may take longer after first use. So now we have um, a, a damp... <laughs> so now... <laughs> so you better like put that in the sink or it's gonna like just drain out over the table or something I know right overnight. like if, if I set it down on the table is it gonna like just is it gonna piss everywhere <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it doesn't smell like chemicals or anything but he feels it feels like he's full of jelly he feels he feels like the fucking werewolf thing that's what man. I thought whenever I thought like, like... <laughs> god damn it put that just in the sink the water actually turned a weird color like yellow. Oh, did it? Yeah. Look, it's like a yellowish color. And oh, yeah. Stuff in yeah, it. there's. Okay, I, that might just be fuzz from the fabric. I don't know if you guys can see this. I don't know if it's coming off on tape, but the water is definitely a little bit cloudy, and there there is like little particulates on top. But again, that might just be like residual fuzz from the, you know, the the, the material he's made out of. But that is. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna drink it. Fuck. Fuck that. This one. This one caught my eye earlier. I thought this was really nice. It's uh, cranky, and it's a little alligator head. And he's apparently it's it's an officially licensed thing from the mobile app game. Where's my water? Uh, that game has not been relevant in at least like four years. But uh, I thought. Like, look at that. It's a cool little. It's like a little head. I'm gonna put this either on my keychain, and if if it's too big and gets in the way, then I'll like hang it from like my rear view. 
or something in my car. But this is really, I mean, I'm going to cut this fucking tag off because, I mean, it's, like, it's, it's as big as the head is tall. <laughs> but um, I like this little guy. He was, and we got two little, two little gators. We go boop, 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 like that. We got a blue one and a green one and got the Stretch Armstrong gator. He's really, he's heavy too. He is. He's a lot heavier than you would think a little plush toy of this size would be. And it's like, and he's not wet. Like the little tag hanging off of his ass, the little fabric tag, it is holding more water than the fabric on the outside is. It's very, it's very strange. I don't know how I feel about that. I, I noticed you guys have also seen the Pokemon card that's in this box. It's, it's an Entei, which uh, if my memory serves me right, it's reflecting that you can see the camera there. If my memory serves me right, you got this for seeing the third movie in theaters. Because uh, the first movie had Mewtwo, Electabuzz, Pikachu, and Dragonite. The second movie had Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, because that was the those were in that movie. And I think the third one was was Entei. And now I was looking at this, and I thought like, because because uh, I I had the packing slip so I could see like what was in the order. And I looked at this, and I was like, you know what? Thandramon, she, you know, she, she, she follows me on Twitter. I mean, I, I've known her forever. So I know that she knows that I was lamenting the fact that I lost most of my Pokemon card collection in her, uh, Hurricane Harvey, specifically the Black Star promos. So I was like, oh, that's really nice of her to, you know, get me a card to help me, you know, get my collection back going. And then I checked the packing slip, and they were just fucking giving these motherfuckers out free with every order. And so she, <laughs> they just slipped it in. Like, I, I don't know if she was like, oh, that's, oh, okay, maybe, you know, I'll order that, and then it comes with it free. Or or if it was just like, <laughs> or if, like, I looked at it, and I was like, wow, look, how, how sweet of her, man. That's really nice. And then it's like, oh, it's free anyways. Whatever. <laughs> but... Oh, it, it turns okay. It, it turns out it turns out that I, I was right. She remembered, and then she placed the order, and it just so happened to come with the cards. So she was like, "Yeah, it's, that's two birds, one stone." So it worked out. So thank you. Uh, this is my. This is now the first Black Star promotional card in my collection. It's always the most expensive ones that get damaged. It couldn't. They couldn't have like destroyed my box of fucking energy cards. No, it's got to be. It's got to be the fucking E3 Pikachu. It's got to be the misprint Pikachu from the base set. The shadowless. The shadowless. Shadowless version reflex. You don't even know what that means. Nope. You don't know what that means, but I do. The big flat one. So here's here's the big. Oh, I guess I'll cover that address up. Here's a big flat one. This comes to us from Tuna Boat Tony. Uh, he, you guys remember Tuna Boat Tony? He he came here and did some hosts for the show. Um, he used to live pretty close. After Harvey, he moved to uh, Houston, so it's a few hours away. We're still working out the logistics for having him come back down and stay for the weekend and do some more streams and stuff. But in the meantime, he's made up for his absence by sending me this massive. It's a huge. I can feel it, like it folds right here. So clearly, whatever this is, it's a record or it's a laser disc or it's something. Yeah, it looks about the it's, right size. Yeah, it's that's the size of it. So uh, I don't know what it is, and I'm gonna open up. And we're, gonna, we're gonna find out. <laughs> it is. It is a record. It is a record. Uh, I'm trying to find a way to like put this without showing his address because I don't wanna. I feel like I'm risking it right there. Holy shit! Who is that? What the fuck? <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> it's it's autographs. <laughs> I thought it was. I, th I thought it was Burt Reynolds at first. <laughs> motherfucker he looks like he looks like the crime boss from weekend at bernie's the one who's yeah. the bernie the one who's dead in weekend at bernie's um it says back on it it says beck over it says oh. beck over here which i don't think it's that beck i'm pretty sure it was this was owned by a guy named beck and he was like hey justin put his name here i'm gonna put my name on his other shoulder so that we can be best buds Stars of the Grand Ole Opry. I mean, I I know what that is, 
in general terms, but it's... Oh my god. It's, there's a lot of information on the back of this. Uh, to order rec... Okay, 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 wait a minute. To order records called the Ernest Tub... T-U-B-B. The Ernest Tub Record Shop. And there's a number there. So it's like, is this dude like somebody's kid? Like some guy owns like a record store and he, he his son, I don't, I, don't have a, I don't have a record player, so there's no way for us to figure out what any of this music sounds like. Is it even like, is it in the thing? Let's check the vinyl. I don't know anything about handling vinyl, so if I'm doing it wrong, somebody in the chat's going to fucking have a heart attack or something. Yeah, that's... That's Justin Tubb. There, that's who it is. I mean, the again, I don't know anything about vinyl, but I think this is in. I would venture a guess as to say this has never been played. Yeah, it does, <laughs> look, does not look like it. I have never seen a brand new vinyl before, but I I think it might look something like this. On some of the songs you guys are looking at, I saw you guys talking about the the the, the songs. Uh, <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. Let me just read these off the back of the thing. What's wrong with the way that we're doing it now? Which, uh... That, as a response, can really be some really heinous things. Where it's like... <laughs> he could be referring to his wife not enjoying the missionary position anymore. And he's like, what's wrong with the way we're doing it now? Or it could be something as heinous as uh, same-sex marriage. His, his, you know, someone's like, I think two men should be able to marry, or, or two women should be able to marry. And he's like, what's wrong with the way we're doing it now? Marriage between a man and a woman. Happy Pride Month, by the way. June 1st, it's officially Pride Month. God, put that... That's why some of the bits are in the chat are rainbow flags. In case you didn't know, sorry, homophobes. Pull the covers over me. <laughs> It's just like it's like a Dutch oven thing. It's like for farting. <laughs> it's like pull the co <laughs> pull the covers over me. It's like <laughs> it's kind of like two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> it's like my ex-wife is gonna be my next wife. Like what? But it's uh, there's him down here uh, for the Grand Ole Opry, and there's also like Billy Walker, Charlie uh, Lu Lu Lovin. Ray Pillow. Okay. Uh, Jan Howard, or maybe maybe Jan Howard. Uh, and then they use, like, a different font for Stonewall Jackson and the Wilburn Brothers, and I don't like that. Look at Ernest up there, man. Look at that dude. No, we're focusing on that. Look at that guy. He looks like a cross between fucking Wink Martindale and the, the boss of Smash TV. Tony, thank you for the... Thank you for the record. I, I don't have a... <laughs> I don't have a player, but I tell you what, um, <laughs> after after Harvey, uh, I, I, I had a collection of framed laser discs, and uh, all the laser discs got destroyed, but the frames survived. So uh, I got a bunch of empty frames that'll fit this, so I, I guess I'm going to have an autographed Justin Tubb on my wall somewhere. Uh, I don't got any room over here, but maybe, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I appreciate it. I'll check it. I, I don't know if you, like... I have a feeling I, Tony is not in chat right now, but, so I don't know this. I have a feeling he doesn't know who this guy is. He just looked at this album and was like, "Gator Box." <laughs> this next one I forgot to mark the address out of, but this comes to us from uh, Electric Sheep City. He is in chat. He is a moderator. He is also a subscriber because it's a Twitch Prime thing. So he's got a whole bunch of icons next to his name in chat. So uh, uh, he recently went to New Orleans and got some st I say recently he went to New Orleans like 10 months ago and he sent me this box and this arrived two days before Harvey Ooh, money shot okay it's got, uh, that box over there and uh, I think I okay yeah that's, that's what I thought that was all right all right let's, let's take out the first thing that I saw first got some gator gator gummies I <laughs> I mean, they're just sugar, so they're probably still good. They're still sealed. They didn't get wet or anything like that. Um, from the New Orleans Candy Company. And it, the ingredients are, and this might surprise you here, corn syrup, sugar, beef gelatin, 
uh, coloring and beeswax. So sugar, sugar, uh, cow bones, and coloring. Uh, you want to try one? Sure. I'm try a... <laughs> well, they smell, they smell like apple. What is that? I don't know. Let's see. Pretty good. It tastes kind of like, um, tastes like those sharks. The blue ones? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, those are good. Those are, yeah. They survived. They haven't gone off. Mostly because the only ingredients are sugar and bones. Uh, so, so there's nothing, nothing there nothing to spoil. To go bad. There's nothing there to spoil. Welcome to another legit food review. And this next one is a voodoo. voodoo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um... It's a, a little string, a little, little uh, yarn or a string doll that they, they, they make the... I don't know if these became popular in, in New Orleans or not. Uh, I think they did. But it's, it's a little... It's a gator boy, and he's a little uh, little voodoo man. <laughs> he's got a little face under there. It's kind of cute. Um, New Orleans gator boy is lucky and will give you the courage to overcome any obstacle. That's something I really could have done with reading... Nine months ago, I could have I could have used that I could have used that fucking pep talk nine months ago. But uh, so yeah, he's got like a little key ring. Is this wrapped around? It is wrapped around his neck. Okay. So he has like a a phone thing and like a regular like a key ring thing, little dot thing, and he has a little bell to drive cats and animals fucking bonkers with it. <laughs> he's also wait, he's got like a little pad on his butt. What? Is that supposed to? Hang on, I don't, I don't want to pick it off. Is it supposed to be like? Is that like a thing? If I if I if that part is that part supposed to come off, or if I touch it, is that? Am I gonna die? Is this? Did you? Is this voodoo doll? Did you fucking? Did you bind this to me? So if I drop it, is it gonna like hurt me? That might be, what's keeping the wrap, together on the back. I, I don't I don't know, but he's got a little bit, a little bit, a little man. <laughs> this this is a. Uh, I like him. I might keep him at like my desk or something, or put him on the, the shelf back here because, like, I I know that they they make these things. They're a lot durable than they look. But I, I'm I'm worried that like if I actually put him on my key ring, that he'll get all messed up, and I don't I don't want him to get messed up because like, he's cute. So I don't know, but uh, <laughs> I love his face. <laughs> I think he's cute. <laughs> Thank you, Electric Cheap City. I I appreciate that. I Thank you, uh, Jay Harms. Thank you, Fandramon. Thank you, uh, Tuna Boat Tony. <laughs> For the record. <laughs> Appreciate it. And thank you uh, also to the folks who sent the sticker and the, the uh, what is apparently a Rampage toy. Uh, thank you for that. I appreciate that. Uh, if you want to send something to the Gator Box P.O. Box, it's Gator Box. Post Office Box 2429 Fulton, Texas. That's F-U-L-T-O-N. Uh, the zip code is 78358. Um, there's a couple couple house rules. Number one, uh, do not send me anything offensive, like visually or you know whatever. Like, don't send me gross shit. Uh, don't send me anything edible. Like the gator gummies. This is this is different because it's it's sealed. It's a little bag of candy. It's that's fine. But uh, a lot of stuff that's perishable can go bad in transit. And if you know, I don't open it immediately. Uh, don't send me edibles, please. Uh, don't send me anything that's alive or anything that used to be alive. Don't do that. Uh, please also do not put my address in on like um, those websites th that will send you like contraceptives and condoms and stuff like that. You know, for like sexual health and stuff. Uh, I know it's funny because they're like government funded programs and you send someone a box of, you know, condoms and then like 500 pamphlets on AIDS and herpes. Uh, don't Please don't do that because... Um, that's that's wasting. That's a, that's abusing the system. So please don't do that. Some of y'all are asking how Gator's doing. He's he's still a Gator. He's heavy. He's like he, <laughs> he's a big boy. He's big boy. Um, <laughs> but he is surprisingly dry. Like it's he's just not wet. The piece of paper that's underneath him is not getting wet either. So whatever this weird shit is. <laughs> I can eat it if I want to, but it's strongly it strongly yeah. suggests otherwise. It so don't 